Yesterday I noticed on John Crowder's Facebook post, he's the pastor of First Baptist Church of West, that he had now completed three moves since his house was destroyed in the blast. I recall the night of the blast, I got a phone call just alerting me to what had happened, and so immediately I texted John and said, John, are you okay? Is your family okay? And he texted back, yes, they were actually out of town when the blast occurred, and that they were okay. And then I texted him back and said, we have some extra bedrooms in our house. If you need a place to sleep tonight or whatever, you know, please come by and let us know. And he texted back, and in that moment, he already had a family in the church had offered them the upstairs of their house. So they were going to sleep over there and uh, uh, make, you know, the, the family basically said, here, have our house, you know, and, and be at, at that. Of course, their family returned that needs that space, so they had to move. Now they've moved three times, and they'll move one more time this coming weekend. And uh, in, in, in all of that, you know, it's just been amazing to see John praising the Lord, talking about the goodness of God, and talking about how the, the, the love of God is just overwhelming the destruction that's been leveled upon the community. And, uh, you know, John's message, even that he preached the Sunday after the disaster, apparently was picked up and quoted by the President of the United States. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's just a, been a phenomenal witness of the love of God and, and the, the power of prayer, the power of the Holy Spirit. And uh, just story after story is poured out about the angels that, you know, have ministered to those people who have had such um, interruption in their lives. But I just want to thank John for the example, for the testimony, and for his resilience uh, in the face of this. The morning after the blast, I met with him. He hadn't slept in 36 hours, still wearing the same clothes he had woken up in the previous day, and uh, not in the least concerned about his own welfare, or his own house, or his own possessions, just wondering, how can we love this community? How can we love the people of our church? How can we um, make sure that all of them are okay? And, and they organized a telephone campaign, made sure they called every last member of the church, are you okay, would you lose, are you, you know, what do you need? And from that day forward, been as tireless, ceaseless, relentless uh, voice for the Word of God and, and the hope and the love of Jesus Christ. And, so uh, I praise the Lord for brothers like John, who, who in the trenches, in the middle of the disaster that he and his family have suffered, is still pointing people to Jesus Christ.